Hello everyone. So now first we will see about the concept of feedback. Okay. So I will simply uh, talk about positive and negative feedback, all these stuff, but I will uh, surely tell something different that you might not have studied. Okay. So like this is your input pin and it is going through an amplifier. Okay. That has gain A and this is your output voltage. Okay. So uh, what would you do? What is your output? Output is A into VI. Now what you do, this is without feedback. Okay. Now what you do, now whatever the output you are having, you just make one feedback there with feedback factor beta. So some part of output is going back again to the input. Okay. Now V in coming here and whatever the sign we have depending on positive and negative feedback that would be here. So some part of output is coming back to the input and what are we having here? Beta V naught. Okay. So and then you are generating some output. Okay. So your output would be V in plus or minus beta V naught into your gain A. Okay. So this is what we call feedback. There are two kinds of feedback, positive feedback and negative feedback. First we will talk about positive feedback. Okay. So that's your input V in. and here is some gain A you are having some output V node there is some feedback factor beta involved some part of output is going back to the input again okay and here it is getting added with the input okay so here you will have V in plus beta V naught okay so your final output would be A into v in plus beta v naught okay so that's your final output so in positive feedback there is one thing you can notice in positive feedback if you increase the v naught value if you increase v naught what will happen you are increasing this one this value will increase and again this value will increase eventually this v node will increase first you are increasing this v node uh, v node node so if this node goes up this would also go up if this goes up this also goes up this value also goes up and if this goes up the eventually the output goes up okay so we call it v feedback so if v node goes up v feedback goes up then eventually your output goes up so in positive feedback if you increase the output further output goes up only okay if you are increasing the output in further cases output would go up only and in, now we are we will be talking about negative feedback so that's a very important point okay if you increase the output output would go up so th that shows instability okay output keeps on increasing keeps on increasing keeps on increasing okay now talking about negative feedback this is v in here this is positive this is negative okay so this would be v in minus beta v naught okay so here in negative feedback if your v naught goes up your v feedback that that value will go up but this value will go down if your v naught goes up your v feedback goes up but this value v in minus beta v naught because beta v naught is going up so this node value goes down and then eventually your output goes down 
Do you get it? First V node goes up, then V F goes up, then this V n minus beta beta V node goes down, then eventually your output goes down. So if V node is getting up, your output is going down. Okay, so that's the case of negative feedback, and here we cause stability. Okay, like I can uh, explain you with real examples, like in OPAM, what really happens? Like this is some your your output. You are some you are having some output V note. Then what you do? You will simply put a potential divider. This is R one. This is R two. So, and what you do? You will just apply it to the input. Here we are having some input V. So what is happening here? This node is beta V naught, right? So and this is V in. So the some part of output is going back to the input. Here we are having V in minus beta V naught into the op amp gain A equals to the output. So what is this? This is negative feedback, right? What we are really doing? If V node goes up, this node goes up. If this node goes up, this node goes up. If the negative terminal is getting up, then output would go down because we have op amp output equals to A into V positive minus V negative. So if V negative is going up, the V V node will go down. So eventually, you try to you you try to get the high value of V node, but eventually the V node is going down. You are going towards stability, and that's that's the concept of negative feedback. Okay, we will discuss the example in the next video. So here we will see some example. So here you need to find the uh, type of feedback. Okay, so fi for finding the type of feedback, what we will do? We will first increase the output. So for simplicity, I will call it as V1, V1, and I will call this one as V2. Okay. So let's see. If V1 goes up, this node goes up, then this would this node will also go. V node goes up, then V1 goes up. If and while finding the sign of open, what we will do? While 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 finding the uh, type of feedback, what we will do? We will always short circuit the input. Okay, not short circuit. If there is current, we will open circuit that. So while finding the sign, here I need to write while finding the sign while finding the feedback, you should nullify the input. Okay, in case of Uh, in case of voltage source, you will short circuit this, and in case of current source, you will open circuit this. Okay. So if your V node goes up, your V F V one, your V one goes up, and if V one goes up, this V two, like just see, if this V one goes up, so what is the current flowing in this direction? G M V one, right? If V one goes up, like G M V one current V G S value is. Vgs value is minus V1. So in downward direction we have Gm into minus V1 current. So in upward direction we have Gm V1 current, right? Here we have Gm V1 current. So if V1 is getting up, Gm V1 is getting up. If Gm V1 is getting up, then your V2 is getting up, right? So if your V2 is getting up here, here what is your Vsg? Vsg is Vsg, Vsg is minus V2. So if your V2 is going up, then your V0 is going down. Or how can you see that? Like this, this is what? Which configuration is that? This is common source. Common source. So in case of common source, in case of common source if v1 goes up then output goes down right because output is minus gm rl into v in 
so if v v v1 v in is going up then output is going up in negative direction so output would eventually go down if v in goes up v output goes up in negative direction that means it goes down goes down in positive direction so eventually it goes down do you get it so here we have inverting state right we have 180 degree phase shift so from that we can say it goes down okay so if this potential is going up then this potential would be going down so if v1 goes up eventually your v0 is going down if your v0 goes up eventually your v0 is going down so here we have negative feedback okay so i will explain it once more v0 goes up this node goes up if this node goes up this node also goes up and if this node goes up this is in common source configuration so this node goes down so eventually your if we are increasing the v node eventually our output is getting decreased so we have negative feedback here okay and this concept you should also know in common source amplifier there is inverting state if we if you are increasing the input your output goes down if you are increasing the output your input will go down okay so by that you can also explain so now i will give one simple concept in op amp that all of you know but for simplicity this node is v positive this node is v negative this is your v output that is equals to a into v positive minus v negative okay so there are two condition what if the v node goes up and what if the v node goes down okay so how v node can go up v node can go up for two conditions right if v positive goes up or v negative goes down right if v positive goes up the whole value will go up and v not will go up and how and if v negative goes down then this difference would go up if this difference would go up then v not again will go up and what is the condition for v not to go down for v not to go down v positive should go down if v positive goes down this difference goes down if this difference goes down your v not goes down and v negative should go up if v negative goes up this different goes this difference goes down and your output goes down so that's a very simple concept all of you know it i guess okay so now you have to find the sign of op amp terminal for negative feedback that's a sta state for example that we all all know but we will see it by the concept okay so what is the voltage here that is beta v not if this goes up this also goes up so this terminal is going up so b is going up so now you want your v to go down v not to go down that's what you want for negative feedback for negative feedback that's what you want if you are increasing the output your output should go if you are increasing the output you eventually your output should go down that is what negative feedback is right right this is what we call negative feedback so if v not goes up this node goes up b v b goes up v b goes up and now you want v v b to go down so for this condition you want v b v not to go down for v not to go down either your v positive should go down or your v negative should go up okay but this is getting up so this v neg v b should be v negative like you want v not to go down you want v not to go down you have two condition either v positive should go down or v negative should go up but here we know that v b is getting up so what is the favorable condition this is the only favorable condition because this is going up and this has to be negative this has to be negative now you can cross up cross check this node goes up this node goes up and at b we are having negative so if negative terminal goes up the difference goes down and if the difference goes down eventually your output will go down 
So if your V node is getting up, your V node is getting down. So it's in negative feedback. So here your A should be positive and B should be negative. That's how you find the sine of open. Okay. Now moving into on through this example. So here your V A is 5 by 9 V node. Or your V B is 5 by 10 into V node. Okay. So this is around 0 0.55 V naught and this is 0 0.5 V naught. You want negative feedback, right? Here your V A is more than V B. So for negative feedback, V A should be V negative and V B should be V positive. So which is more dominating? V A is more dominating. Like if this is negative, if this is negative, then more portion of output is coming at negative terminal and less portion of output is coming coming at positive terminal. So more portion of output is coming at positive terminal. So the difference goes more down. Right. If V node goes up, V A is getting more up than V positive is getting up right if v node goes up then v is getting more up right so if v a is getting more up so v a should be the negative terminal and for v node to go down eventually v a should be the negative terminal and v should v should be the positive terminal because eventually you want your output to go down okay so that's how you can check which is more dominating okay so more dominating which is more dominating that's how you can see if both feedback are present okay if both the feedback are okay so now we will move to the next question now here so here you have beta v naught now your capacitor is in initially uncharged so at v a you are having zero voltage and at v b you are having beta v naught so your V B is higher than V A. So or for negative feedback your V B should be V negative and your V A should be V positive. Okay. But uh, this example is mainly considered as uh, if uh, if you want to if you want to make it an multi vibrator want to make it a multi vibrator there has to be positive feedback right right so for positive feedback this for positive feedback this v b should be v positive and this v a should be v negative so must, all of you must have seen this circuit where this this is negative potential and this is po positive potential so what we mainly do there uh, we just start applying the concept of multi vibrator but uh, it's important to see the feedback right if v a is negative and VB is positive, so VB is more dominating than VA. So if VB is more dominating than VA, then there is positive feedback. Okay. So this is the condition for positive feedback, and this is the condition for negative feedback. But this uh, this complete circuit is mainly used for multi vibrator concept. So mainly we see VA to be negative and VB to be positive, so that it's in positive feedback. Okay. Now moving on to the next example. Now this one. Now you know you need to see the uh, sign of op amp. So you will. What is the output of op amp here? You don't need to see the output of a MOSFET amplifier or anything. You need to see the output of op amp. So this is the output of op amp, right? So if this this node goes up here, the VGS would go up. The current would go up, right? If this node goes up, the current would go up. 
if the current would go up this node let us call it v1 this would go up if this goes up then this vv goes up now you want your output to go down so your vb has to be negative and your va has to be positive do you get it v node goes up this i current goes up v node goes up the current goes up this v1 goes up and this v1 is fed to the input and ter input terminal of op amp so if something goes up so if vb is getting up you want your output to go down you want your output to go down so by this concept when this is getting up you want your output to go down so by this concept you can simply tell this terminal should be v negative okay or you simply can think of like the you can simply think like if some terminal is going up you want your difference to be go down so if that is going up that has to be negative okay in this you can see this is your output right if this goes up if this goes up the current would go down right then this terminal would go down or you can simply say this is common source amplifier so if the gate terminal is getting up the drain terminal would go to, would go down because here vsg if here vsg is decreasing vsg is decreasing so this node would go down if this node would go down so this node would go down so if sorry this i should here so if if you want your if you want your output to go down eventually so this vb has to be the positive one and va has to be the negative one right look this terminal is getting down now you want your difference to be go down if you make this v v negative your difference would go up like this is your v output is a into v positive minus v negative now this terminal is going down so if you make this as v negative so that eventually whole value would go up you have to make it v positive like if v positive is going down your output would go down so this has to be positive one and this has to be the negative one so b has to be positive and a has to be negative okay now that's a very interesting example so now we'll solve this so in this example you have two op amp one is op amp 2 and one is op amp 1 okay so here at a time you can comment about only one op amp okay so what you will do so talking about first we are talking about talking about op amp 1 first we are talking about op amp 1 okay so what you will do you have to consider op amp to be in negative feedback consider op amp to be in negative feedback in negative feedback because we want to make both of the op amp in negative feedback right but at a time we can comment about only one so we have to consider op amp to be in negative feedback okay so if op amp 2 is in negative feedback virtual short is valid there virtual short is valid right so if virtual short is valid this would be zero and this will also be zero now we are commenting about op amp 1 so we have to pick the output of op amp 1 so what is the output of op amp 1 this is the output of op amp 1 so if this goes up this node will also goes up if this goes up this node v node dash would go down if this goes down this also goes down VA also goes down. So your VA is get, getting down and VB is at zero. And th this you have to short circuit, right? You inputs you should short circuit. So your VA is getting down. So if some terminal is getting down and you want your output to go down eventually, so what you will do? You will make A as positive and B as negative, right? if your a is positive if your a is positive and b is negative and if a terminal is getting down your difference is getting down and your output is going down so first you increase the output then this value this you increase the output this value goes up this value goes down because of virtual short here we have virtual short so output would be minus r1 by r2 right minus r1 by r2 your output would be minus r1 by r2 into v not 
So your V naught dash here, your V naught dash is minus R1 by R2 into V naught. So if this goes up, this goes down, right? So this goes down, then this terminal would go down because this is simply a potential divider. So this terminal is getting down. Now some terminal is getting down and you you out your you want your output to go down only. So you have to A, you have to make A positive so that the difference decreases and your output goes down. So for first op amp, this is the answer. Now talking about the second one, I have to redraw the circuit. So here in this problem, uh, what you can think like, like this is at zero, this is also at zero because this is in negative feedback already, right? This is in negative feedback. Okay. So you would, so you will see this is zero, this is also zero. Then there is no current and there would be no current here. So your V naught dash would all eventually become zero only, right? So now you can't comment about V naught dash like how it will go up or it will go down that you can't comment because because your virtual short it is coming out to be zero and zero. So if there is condition like that, you should ignore it. Like you should ignore the virtual short here now. You will simply consider it an op amp with a finite gain. Op amp with a finite gain. So that you you have to consider. So you won't uh, see you won't apply the concept of uh, these virtual sort and everything if your v naught is going towards zero only or a finite value okay so first what you will do you are commenting about talking about op amp 2 now talking about op amp 2 right talking about op amp 2 now now in op amp 2 if your this node goes up this node will go up right if this node goes up this node will go up now your positive terminal is getting up so your output would go up so now your this terminal is getting up the, this is not the output we are commenting about this op amp if we are commenting about this op, whatever op amp we are com commenting about we will not see the output of the circuit we will see the output of op amp so the output of op amp 2 is output of op amp 2 is v naught dash so we will see that only okay we won't see the circuit output of the or the op amp of uh, or the output of this op amp we will see we will only comment about v naught dash now okay so your v naught dash is getting up this node is getting up this v naught is getting up now now if this v naught is getting up and you want your v naught dash to go down then your p has to be negative and q has to be positive right like if your V node is getting up, this node is also getting up your VP. This is VP. So if your V node is getting up, this your VP is getting up as well. Now something is getting up and you want your output to go down. Then what do you understand? VP has to be negative. Right? Something getting up and you out you want your output to go down. If something is getting up, that has to be V negative so that the difference is less different gets less so if you want your different to go down difference to go down then you have to make vps negative terminal okay that's how you can understand this problem your p has to be negative and q has to be positive your p is negative and q is positive okay so uh, and uh, like uh, this may look like a this may look like a positive feedback to you because in positive terminal something is coming but this is not the positive feedback this is a negative feedback and in the same problem here here it may seem like v, b is positive here and a is negative here so you can see that feedback is in positive terminal but it may look like a positive feedback but it's not a positive feedback so every time you need to check by just seeing the sign you can't comment it is it's in positive or it's in negative okay so further i will discuss more problem about it so i hope you understand understood the concept here. okay thank you now we will see a few more examples so here as well you need to find the sign of a b and p q for negative feedback okay so we are talking about negative feedback okay so what you will do you will consider one of the op amp in negative feedback again like in the previous problem i told you we have to assume one of the op amp in negative feedback so considering uh, for op1 we are talking about op1 so first we will considering op2 in negative feedback in negative 
feedback so if it's a negative feedback then virtual short is valid virtual short valid right so if this is zero this would be zero right now talking about open one we will call it v note dash okay so if v note dash goes high then if v note dash go up then your v note is minus r4 by r3 into v note dash so your v note would go down if v note dash goes up v note uh, this v note would go down if this goes down this also goes down let us call v dash v dash also goes down then your v dash also goes down now now you you want this output to go up right you want this v not dash to go up and this goes down sorry you want v not dash to go down actually you want v not dash to go down and this goes down so what should be the terminal b should be positive and a should be negative because if b is positive and it goes down then your v not would then the difference voltage would go down and your v not dash would go down like we are talking about op amp one so we will see here we will see the output of op amp not the output of the circuit right we will see the output of op amp so for this output first we increased it then we saw this is going down this is also going down now if we make v dash to be positive then the difference voltage would go down and eventually your v not dash would go down okay so your v not dash would go down so that's how you can analyze it now for the second i have to redraw it so here if your v not goes up this node will also go up now this is positive right so if the positive voltage is going up this node will also go up right v not goes up this node goes up this node also goes up now this if this node goes up this node will also go up right and you want your output to decrease now you want your output to decrease now so what you will do you will make p as negative and q as positive right v node goes up this node goes up v node dash goes up now you want your output to go down then you should make p as positive p as negative and q as positive so that your difference voltage goes low and your output goes down okay so these are your final answer okay now moving on to this problem here we have i in this is our i in so first we have to remove it we will open circuit it right open circuit it open circuit it right now again this is op amp 1 and this is op amp 2 we will assume one of the op amp in negative feedback again op amp 2 is in negative feedback uh, why am i taking these op amp like by, by how like i can see this is a standard circuit right so like this is a standard circuit feedback there and this is the input like we have seen it now here you can see this is kind of inverting amplifier this is a standard one in previous example i took this one this is a standard one Inver inverting amplifier right so this looks like a standard one so first i assumed this one to be negative feedback then uh, then i can comment about this one and after commenting about this one i can recheck if this was in negative feedback or not with the uh, assumed sign okay so that's how i i am choosing one okay like if you choose uh like if you choose op amp one first in negative feedback and then you choose op amp two like, so then what will happen now uh, assuming that i have assumed op amp one in, in negative feedback okay so negative feedback virtual sort is valid since so this zero would go here okay op amp one is in negative feedback, feedback that i am assuming so virtual sort will be valid now you don't know the sign but you know ki if it is in negative feedback virtual sort will be valid that you know you don't know the sign this this zero would go here this zero would go travel around v naught would be zero now you can't comment about the circuit at all do you understand it if i assume this one in negative feedback zero zero v naught will be zero now you can't comment at all so first we will assume oh that circuit in negative feedback so that our uh, solution becomes easier so i am considering op amp 2 in negative feedback okay 
so now your virtual sort is valid talking about talking about opam1 virtual sort value assume so if virtual sort is valid this potential would so this is over v not dash so if v not dash increases v not dash increases this potential will also increase and if this one increases this v not will increase right and if this v not will increase this v a this v a would also increase so you want your output to decrease with the increasing voltage so your a has to be negative and b has to be positive do you get it your we are talking about v not dash first we increased v not dash if v not dash increases this potential increases if this potential increases because what is v not 1 plus r2 by r1 into v not dash this is what v not is because there is no current so v not dash would come here so v not would become 1 plus rf by r r2 by r1 into v not dash so if v not dash increases this potential increases this potential also increases now this if this potential increases this will go here now this potential will also increase this va will also increase so if it is increasing and you want your v not dash to go down you want your v not dash to go down you first increase it now you want it to go down so your a has to be negative and b has to be positive so that it goes down right if a is negative then the uh, then the difference voltage will go down and your v not dash will go down so a is negative and b is positive okay and now we will talk about the second one op amp 2 you can i don't need to redraw the circuit you can simply see here if uh, this goes up this potential goes up now this is negative a is negative and b is positive so if a is negative v not goes up this not goes up now this will go down because a is negative if if this goes down this potential also goes down so now you have to make okay so your p potential is getting down and now you want your output to go down only you you want v not to go down only so what you would do you will make p as positive p as positive and q as negative because if p goes down like if p go is positive voltage goes down then your difference voltage will go down and your output will also go down first you increase it this potential increased if a is negative and b is positive then this potential also increase right sorry if this potential also decrease now something is decreasing at point p so for that you have to make p as positive and q as negative i hope you got the point we have solved many examples so i hope you got got the point and this is an interesting question i will i will show the explanation so here you have two potentials v1 and v2 and one of the potential is positive terminal and one of the potential is negative terminal so how you will solve it that we will see now okay so first what you will do uh, let's let's take v2 constant and v1 increases okay first what we are doing we are increasing this voltage if this v1 increases uh, let us assume here we have i2 current and here we have i1 current if this this one is i1 by current mirror this will also be i1 and let us assume this current here in this current here we have i f okay i f we have okay so what happens if v1 increases v1 is increasing here the vsg value is decreasing so i1 would decrease i1 would decrease like what happened if v1 increases v1 increases here the vsg value decreases if vsd decreases i1 decreases if i1 decreases this current also decreases right this current also decreases but i2 is constant because your v2 is constant then i2 is constant so if this current is increasing decreasing and this current is constant then there has to be some current flowing through this circuit right 
like uh, here we have 5 ampere and here the current decreased to 3 ampere so the 2 ampere would go here right right do you get it so because of that this v x potential because of that this and because of that this i f increases and because of that this v x potential increases and now if v x potential increases this v naught will go down because this is common source and common source there is what 180 degree inversion right if 180 degree inversion if v x is increasing then v out will go in if v x is increasing v out will go v out will increase but in negative direction v out will increase in negative direction so if it is increasing in negative direction it means it is decreasing in positive direction so if your v1 is increasing your v output is decreasing so what do you get it by that from here we can conclude your v1 is negative right if your v1 increases your v output decreases if something increases the output is decreasing so what does that mean the one has to be negative so your v1 is negative so this is your v1 and this is your v2 you can do the same for v2 as well you will uh, you will make v1 as constant and you will increase v2 so if you increase v2 what will happen the current here decreases if the current here decreases this has to drive some current here this has to drive some current here and because of that the negative potential at vx will increase negative potential at vx will increase so we can say the positive potential at vx is decreasing if positive potential at vx is decreasing then the positive potential at v output is increasing do you get it you increase v2 i2 decreases i1 remains the same then the negative potential at vx is increasing it means positive positive potential at vx is decreasing and because of that the output will go up so if v2 goes up output goes up so what does that mean v2 has to be positive and v1 has to be negative so that's how you solve all the circuits for negative feedback or positive feedback that's how you see the feedback so that's the complete concept of feedback for positive and negative okay thank you